Okay, a couple of months ago we had uh, I had to resort out the stairs. Um, I've posted some pictures to the Instagram account. That's uh, DIY underscore Samurai. Um, have a look at the old pictures and the new pics. I'm just about finishing off the stairs. Some little bits and pieces to do. Basically, this is what the stairs looks like now. Um, I've had to get under the stairs and reinforce um, every single bit of it because it was dropping. Um, basically, after that, sand everything down, fill in every little bit of gap that you can possibly have. There's gaps in between every single step, so they've all been filled in. Uh, fill that in, by the way, using this stuff. Ron seal, natural colour, dries within about 20 minutes, sand it down and you can stain it any colour you want. Very good stuff, highly recommend. Um, so yeah, sanded it all down, absolutely everything here had to be redone. Um, finish that off, so this bit here had to be completely removed and it's been completely replaced with wood. But I used, I tried to keep to everything that was here originally, so I didn't have to fork out too much. Same thing here. This whole section here had to be re replaced. Um, I got the wood, by the way, from Wix. It cost just over, I don't know, 25 quid for both pieces all together. Um, that's all done as well. Finish that off by oiling it with some worked up oil, believe it or not. Um, that uh, I was left over from the kitchen and uh, the white paint around the bits and stairs is uh, Crown's non -glip. non drip gloss um, it takes about 24 hours to dry properly it is cold at the moment uh, the the varnish I went for varnish stain I should say was that one about 6.99 from uh, screw fix um, I put, took the ethanol based formula because um, that pretty much dries very quickly uh, water based or anything like that would have taken a lot longer and obviously a lot longer for the work um, finish that off like I said with the um, the dye and then the last bit was finishing it with um, rust oleum finishing wax. I went with a clear one. I've added one coat already. Um, probably add another one or two coats on that and buff it all up. But all in all, if I was going to go and replace all of this with... Um, they've got these slats that you can buy, kits that you can buy that literally, you know, clamp over. You find them being cute to... Um, You've got slats that go in front of your existing stairs, like that, and you glue them in into place, cut them into size and glue them in place, you can get all sorts of sizes. But if I had to do this whole stairs, I worked it out, just for the wood alone, it would have probably cost in the region of about, oh, just over £900, and that's just for the materials. Then I'd have to cut it myself and fit it, or get someone else to fit it, which would cost even more money. Um, so all in all, this has cost me... Apart from time, obviously, probably just all the tools downstairs, but that's all going, still working on the house. All in all, that's cost me just over, I don't know, 100, 150 quid, 150 pounds, and obviously my time, um, which I enjoyed every minute of it, well, almost every minute. Um, any questions, just uh, drop a message at the end of the video.